in drawing the elevation from this plan you now we explained how to draw the plan in the last video there's a need for you to draw around the eaves you can see the dotted lines see the dotted lines these dotted lines around the need for you to draw the dotted lines and that is the eaves from external wall the last the external lines from the external wall you measure 600 out and you draw that throughout then you find the center actually is very simple for this one because this is three six 3600 by 3600 so i can easily find the center you find the center and you note the point so the next thing for you to do after drawing the ifs you see the dotted lines a thin short dashes around the floor plan you will see drawn in what in black will be used to draw the roof now you need to project from this point, this point here, 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 up. And when you project the lines up, let's look at what we are going to have. Can you see that? Is that not wonderful? What I tried to do, I projected from this point where I have the horizontal and the vertical meeting. I project from this point. After projecting from the ifs, you can see the line. So I projected from here also. I have a vertical line and a horizontal line there. The same thing from here, from here, from here, from here, from here, and that's what I. That that's where I started to get this, and that's the elevation of the rear and we call that one the rear elevation rear elevation you can do the same thing for this side all you just needs to project outside now this is not beautified enough i can clean some lines then put some other few things there to make it beautiful you can see can you see it one after the other you can see the line from here is going up here from the window can you see it? The door and the thickness of the wall there, yeah. and then it will go up. See the facial board. Then the hip line shown at that point. Now I have told you that in this case I'm going to use uh, the hip proof, and that's why I'm having this. You can make use of gable. You can make use of any other thing. The Main thing is that you must know where to project la your lines from and then you must know this distance. See, I put my ground line. I make that line to be thick. Now from here, don't forget the right time. From here to this point, 900, 1, 2, and from here to that line there, 900 again. And then from there, you can have this view. Now, but we can see beautify it more than this. Let me beautify it more than this. Can you see it now? Can you see it? All from here, we started from here, then to our plan, and then to our elevation. We have projected at 90 degrees throughout from here towards that. And that's what we say orthographic projection of building from the plan to the elevation. The real elevation is the one I've just done now. You can try out other elevations, the front elevation, the facade the left side elevation the right side elevation and in all you are going to have something like this you can see it you can see it so this is what we call orthographic projection of beauty but this one is a simple plan for that matter it can be given a complex design but the knowledge here will be used to be transported to a uh, draw and then it will come out nice I want to believe this video has helped to some extent. God bless you as we meet at another time. Thank you.